So can you cook? Yes, I can cook, I can clean. Yeah, see, this is why I came to Thailand to find a traditional woman. See, in the United States, all they do oh my God. Oh, is cook. A lot of the passport bros will be like, they only want you for your money. Or and then they go get their 90 day fiance on and she clearly just with you for your money. If I'm working all day, sorry, I maybe don't want to come home and cook for two hours to feed you when you get home. Even I'm when working. I'm not working all day, I don't want to be home <laughs> cooking for two you know hours. I mean? I, it's men that walk like this, that act like this, who hate black women. It's also just comparing American women. Well, he didn't go to Africa, he went to Thailand. This when you go find a wife in the Philippines or Thailand or Eastern Europe, I'm assuming Assuming you mean they're more biddable, that they're less outspoken, they don't demand anything of you, that they're just happy to be rescued from their poverty-stricken life of no opportunity, and in return, all they have to do is subject themselves to your advances. I do wonder at your motivation for why you want to go overseas to find a partner. Is it because you prefer your woman without opinions, unable to fight back, and vulnerable? I've got a long list for you as well, love. Hmm, let's see. Clueless, a lot of comes out of your mouth. Damn. Age faster than Asians. Damn. Oblivious to being prejudiced against us. Life full of pain and loneliness. Subjected to die alone. Have no man. Cannot get a date. And undesirable. Damn, that's a kick to the damn chest. The modern woman has flagrantly and unabatedly gone and spoken so reckless about the passport bros, about Western men in general, but they really started going in on foreign women. And deep down inside, I knew the day would come that their comeuppance would be presented. I'm telling you, I didn't expect it to be this soon, and I didn't expect it to be this severe. It is bad. These women have truly pissed off entire nations of women. And uh, Jane has made it her personal mission to eviscerate each and every one of these Western women that she has come across, saying something disrespectful, about Thai women, about Thai people, about her country of Thailand. And what's crazy, she is defending the passport bros. But I need you to see and understand where this is going right now. And you are supposed to <laughs> stay the hell out of it. Stay out of it, y'all. This is a fight we no longer have to fight. Just sit back and shut up. They start talking to you. I just sing it, wait. Yeah. And when you are, for instance, uh, when we were here before, you know what? I mean, all the things ever printed in the tabloid, the only things ever been true is when they said I couldn't dance. It when we were here the last time shooting the commercial, you were like, like in between shots, running off, like conceiving the dance. Yeah, yo. In your mind, I want you beatboxing. Beatboxing in your mind. Be like, okay. Hee hee. Hee hee. <laughs> Get him. So look, I want you to take note. My sisters, my American black women, tend to lead the charge any and every opportunity that they can for bull and not to be too incendiary but let's just keep it a buck as we go through this montage i want you to take a look and see how many of our lovely ladies our american black women are in here popping i can show you better than i can tell you when you pay attention to the passport bros, like they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand. Like women can can speak very little English. Excuse me for not being fluent in white people's language. It's because Thailand has never been colonized by anyone. Welcome to the history of Thailand. Women that don't have it, education. She is translating what the lovely ladies are saying in English for Thai people to see. 
This is why I say this is becoming an international incident. Y'all ladies are being exposed. You so you went so hard. You swung the pendulum so far one way with your mouth and your rhetoric, not even having skin in the game for this fight and definitely not knowing what the hell you're talking about. Man, when that mother starts dropping and catching that momentum and bust you in the head, uh, don't get mad. This is what I'm talking about. Hmm. Do you think these Thai universities are just for show or something? Look, there are many more. Look at the interior design of this particular Thai university. You see, plant centuries help the students to learn better. You know, calm environment, no stress, no mass shooting at uni, unlike in the US. Damn, Jane, wow. See, and she's coming for the whole country. And and I want you to understand, there's so much nuance here. You know, you know I love my dude, Richie Mack. That's my guy, man. That's my brother, my big brother. Richie Mack said that the lovely lady that sat in his house and did that interview had a classy clap back. This is a classy clap back. She's responding directly to an American lovely lady the most educated, you know, hey, they, they love them degrees, yo. Because when I die, buddy, you know what's going to keep me warm? That's right, those degrees. Talking about the universities in Thailand are better than the ones in the U.S. Shots fired already. And we're just starting. Let's get it. And I'm 100% sure that she can't even locate these countries that she's disrespecting on an empty world map like this. They, but no, they're the most educated, Jane. They're the most educated, right? They should be able to, on the, the map, they should be able to do that. Anyway, the interior design is very thoughtful. If I own a university, I would plant lots of weed just like this. No stress. If I start racially profiling her, she'll be screaming BLM. Oh my gosh, she done brought up BLM already. Don't you know that our lovely ladies have had to fight all their life? Oh my life, I had to fight. She can't, oh. <laughs> This is gonna get progressively worse and worse and worse. Get your drinks, get your popcorn. This is, we aren't even a minute into it. It's so bad, yo. It is so freaking bad. So then why would it be okay to racially profile Asian people so casually? Get Good point. Carly here, you uneducated clown. And oh, she done called her a clown too. Damn, yo. Woo! Bang, bang, got it. Can we take a second to acknowledge the fact that Jane is speaking the Queen's English or the King's English now? She's speaking the King's English. She is a Thai woman that grew up in England. How fly is that? The accent is off the chain. Let's go. Here is another ignorant clown who's bitter because she's got triggered by this one question. What does she think about the passport bros? F her reaction. Oh, you. Go away. Go find your women wherever you want if you're not satisfied. I don't know what to tell you. If you want a woman who barely even speaks English. Barely speak English. It's a f***ing bastard language. Damn, yo. <laughs> She called English a bastard language. And actually, considering that she grew up in England, if there's one person that could actually say it in this conversation, it's her. D Shots freaking fired, yo. <laughs> Crazy. I am 100% sure she doesn't even know it. Anyway, there are many languages being taught in Asian schools including your bastard language. There are also compulsory components in the Thai national curriculum. It helps raise the economy. The thing is, not all Thai people care about being fluent in your bastard language. Since we've got our own language, remember Thailand has never been colonized before. So obviously we're not gonna be good at other languages such as English. We weren't colonized. Didn't just Ouch, yo. Ouch. Has to suck uh, go for it. Trigger Emi. Hmm. She's just mad because she's been begging for this long time. Oh, God. A long time. 
but she had been successful. Asian women has more than just sex to offer and I swear the United States has the largest industry in the world filled with women like her swallowing multiple men all at once. I had somebody suck skittles out my booty hole. Woo! Bang bang got Okay. <laughs> Jay, we might have to put you in jail. Jail. Damn. Damn. Now that's a lot of sucky sucky to do. But no real love to gain. Me no love you long time. Also, Kim Kardashian is an idol in their country. Facts! And her fame started with a sex tape. How dare you look down on Thai women and Thailand? How dare you! <laughs> Y'all bring it in, bring it in. Come on, Craig. Fellas, this is actually the best situation that we could be in because our women have been so out of pocket, so out of pocket. And I'm not talking about just the American black woman. I'm talking about Western women in general saying all that shit that we can't defend them. But I'm telling you, please stay the hell out of the way. D look, don't jump in there. Don't jump in there and get your ass whooped. I'm serious. Don't jump in there and be considered one of the enemies. Do not jump in there and catch collateral damage. She's talking about sucky sucky. And look, she came for their heroes. She came for Kim Kardashian. Man, look. You do not want to be a part of it. Remember your marching orders. <laughs> Stay the hell out of it, y'all. Stay out of it. We want to talk about what to do next, but stay the hell out of this. This is a fight amongst women that the women here provoked. Y'all ain't got nothing to do with it. Keep your wife and your daughters out of it. Everyone else left to their own devices, including my mother. I'm telling you, let's go. Shout out to the men who stood up for us. For sure. This when you go find a wife in the Philippines or Thailand or Eastern Europe or wherever these places are that are overseas, I'm assuming you mean they're more biddable, that they're less outspoken, they don't demand anything of you, that they're just happy to be rescued from their poverty-stricken life of no opportunity, and in return, all they have to do is subject themselves to your advances. I do wonder at your motivation for why you want to go overseas to find a partner. Is it because you prefer your woman without opinions, unable to fight back and vulnerable? I've got a long list for you as well, love. Hmm, let's see. Clueless, a lot of comes out of your mouth. Damn. Age faster than Asians. Damn. Oblivious to being prejudiced against us. Life full of pain and loneliness. Subjected to die alone. Have no man. Cannot get a date and undesirable. Damn, that's a kick to the damn chest. <laughs> Did she says ages faster than Asian women? <laughs> Jane. <laughs> this is out of control, y'all. She might, I thought I was wild. She might get us shut down over here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's get it. As far as degrading us, she also thinks all passport bros are a bunch of psychopaths. Why is she just projecting herself onto these men because they don't want to subject to her advances of mind controlling and brainwashing? Manipulation is not cool. Stay safe, people. Get up off him, Jane. Get up off him for a second. Get up off him. <laughs> They're gonna come after my channel? Kevin, I didn't say this shit. This was, uh, this is Jane. Jane said this. <laughs> I need my money. See, this is what I said. International 
fucking incident, man. She is making these TikToks in Thai. See, y'all are used to the seeing the quieter, more reserved Thai women like Elle, Richie Max lady, or like the uh, lady that was there in the interview with uh, the other wo uh, woman. But some of them are going to clap back. And she's doing it in the King's English, speaking better English than you do, and it's your native language. Bruh, you asked for it. <laughs>